Today we're focusing on skin tones. Now people come in all sorts of beautiful colors and luckily for us, so do art supplies. Welcome to the Art Workshop with Christopher Epling. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in today. Um, we have a really cool show in store for you dealing with exactly what our opening suggested, skin tones. Now art supplies, uh, like I said, have a huge assortment that you could choose from, different mediums you could choose from as well, from you know our liquid type stuff to paint, and, you know oil type uh, paintings, uh, uh, paint, uh, all the way down to uh, pastels and, and um, color pencils and, and those things of that nature. So, so there's a lot of things you could choose from when you're approaching skin tone and, and we're focusing today on something that's a little interesting. Some of you may have some familiarity with it. It's actually chalk pencils. Chalk is a really um, interesting medium in the fact that it can blend well. It's a dry medium. Um, you can also find chalk pencils in any art supply store locally or anywhere you go really. Um, it's, it's a very popular medium and, and artists like to use this when blending. And with skin tone that's exactly what we need to do. We need to blend. Now for the purpose of this episode today I've went ahead and I've sketched out uh, just a random sketch of a, of a person's um, um, head and, and a little bit of the shoulders so we can use today in order to get a few different various types of skin tones and we, we will look into uh, how to blend well using the chalk medium um, and hopefully at the end you'll, you'll, you'll learn a little bit about, about how to apply this medium in trying to get the effect you want with various types of skin tones. Um, so this is the uh, drawing that I've uh, created for today's episode and like I said it's a uh, it's just a front fa uh, face um, profile type shot, a, a little bit of, um, of a side view here. You can see with the ear and the neck. So we're going to be using, uh, as I said earlier, um, chalk. Um, chalk is a, is a great, great medium to use. These are the sticks that they come in and um, you can see the broad range of color we have and this is actually a skin tone pack that we're using um, to get the effects of to anything that you want with the reaching various types of skin tones. So what we'll do is I'll pour mine out here on the table and we'll get started. Um, now if you're following from home, if you already have chalk um, at home, that's wonderful. Um, you can you can just jump right in and go along with us. If not, you'll probably have to go get some and then uh, come back and watch the uh, show a little bit later and pick up from there, okay? All right, so the first thing I'm going to do, um, I like to go from a light color medium to a, to a uh, darker hue of that same um, color, I mean, a light color uh, a hue of a color to the darkest hue of that color. So we're going to start out right now and we're going to use um, a, a, light, a light color and we're going to go ahead and look where the highlights are. Now you can imagine that, that the, that the uh, highlights of this, we'll, we'll, we'll imagine this coming in at an angle, coming down on, onto the uh, page, so the light source is actually up above the head of this character. Now you may not be able to see this color once I apply it. You may, you may be able to see it um, at home. Um, it's a very, very light hue of this color. Um, but I want to go ahead and establish this because what this will do, we can blend very easily. Um, this does not, you know, this, we're not, um, this color here does not depict the, the uh, skin tone we're looking for. It only uh, is used right now for color of the lighting, okay? Um, this particular um, hue of this color will be used um, a lot to, to pull out the lighting of all the various skin tones. And you notice where I've placed this. I've placed it on the forehead. I've placed it on the cheeks. That's a light source. And I've placed it down on the bottom where the chin is here. That's also where a light source will be coming in. And then also we got to think about the shoulders. Now the light's coming in from this angle here. All right. So you can imagine the shadow to be coming down below the chin on the neckline. Um, and then all over here, maybe a little bit of, of shadow on the, on the shoulders, but you could go ahead and just about guess that this area here will be lighting up here, okay? And uh, also um, a little bit on the neck, as I said, a little bit here coming up the neck like that. And then also over here uh, on the shoulders, okay? So once we've actually established our, our light, um, hue that's coming in. We could go ahead now and start with another with another color. All right. 
Now chalk is dusty. Chalk is a dusty medium, so it's gonna, whenever you get finished, just go ahead and blow that off there. It be, works really well. All right, there we go. All right, so we have established now a light source for our color. We'll go ahead now and go a little bit darker on the hue, not too darker here. And what you wanna do is go around the, uh, the, the light source that, that you've already established on the edges and coming in a little bit on top of it. Now this may look a little strange because the uh, color is actually an orangish color, um, but what we're doing is we're putting this down uh, to help accentuate the light source a little bit more. And then a little bit later, when we come back with white, uh, we'll be able to pull this out even, even deeper, okay? So I'm going ahead now and I'm going around these edges and I'm just adding a little bit more of this color down onto the skin tone, getting that in there pretty good. All right, um, I want to go a little bit uh, darker on the hue now. Um, we're going to start up here at the top and we're going to blend across like I'm doing here. As you can see, I'm coming across the medium. I'm actually pulling it. Now we're not going to focus on the hair today. This is only skin. Um, you can see me now I'm coming down as obviously now underneath the eyes here. Um, we're going to have a, a darker area coming down the nose, um, coming down to the tip of the nose like that. Also underneath the nose here will be darkened in um, around the sides. Everywhere that I've not placed the light hue, we're going to basically fill in now with this color. But what we want to do is not press down too hard because in a little bit, we're going to blend this in so that it works really well with the rest of the color. Now using a, a medium to depict light it works in various ways depending on what medium you chose. Um, it's real important if you don't know a whole lot about how to blend color to go online, research this stuff. There's a bunch of videos about it. We've produced videos on actually color and hues and lighting. So that's something you could check out. Now remember the light source is coming in from this angle. So typically this entire side of the face here is gonna be a lot lighter. Now I am going to go ahead though and use this color very lightly on this side um, because the entire side of this face will be lit up and we will go back over it using the other uh, hue uh, that's a little bit lighter than the, the, the first one we chose, okay? Now of course underneath here, um, underneath the eyebrow, we're going to have a little darkening in there. Uh, we're going to have a little bit of um, uh, darker hue underneath the eye here. Okay, we've already got the side of the nose. Um, up here will be much, a much more darker hue um, where the light is not reflecting so much on the side of the face. And then also going down the cheek here, on the side of the jaw. Okay, we'll go ahead and connect this over right here blend a little bit lighter as we go towards the light source. Don't press down as hard. Um, and as well down here at the bottom, we're gonna keep on going. We'll come back over, like I said, go over this section a little bit, a little bit uh, more with the light source color and uh, bring that out just a little bit more, okay? So don't worry too much. Now we do have a little bit of dark, uh, darker hue underneath this portion, but this portion is relatively over here, all, all um, lighter hues but uh, we will have a little bit, okay? Um, then also, we may just, just, just have a little bit of dark over here on the side of the face here, just a little bit to accentuate the, uh, the light source um, on that side, okay? Uh, the shoulder may be uh, darkened in just a little bit maybe on this side uh, as we move up, okay? Now, as you're using this, you're gonna notice there's a lot of dust. And that's what I keep doing when I lean down to blow off all the dust that's coming off, okay? Um, now I'm using a, 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 a skin tone that, that, that is um, a neutral type color and we're gonna go over um, most of the areas where we have the light, lighter hue and the darker hue is, is connecting, okay? So we're gonna go over those areas now and we're going to blend that in. Chalk blend really well. We've all used chalk, even if you're not an artist, you've used chalk probably in school. You've went up to the board, you've, uh, and you know how dusty it can be. And I don't know if you've ever used it though in terms of trying to create something, but it blends just as well when you're trying to uh, create 
um, a light source. So if you've if you've never used um, any type of color before to create a light source on an object or a drawing, chalk is a great medium to start out with. Just because it blends so well, I'm, I'm sure you've seen me use my finger before to blend stuff. Uh, with chalk, you don't necessarily have to do that so much. You can use uh, just the actual uh, medium itself. Um, and uh, like I said too, you know, you can go to just about any um, hobby store that has art supplies and pick up a pack of these. The particular pack I have here today is actually a skin tone pack, so it makes it a little bit easier for us. We don't have to try to um, guess what all colors we need to create the, uh, the, the, the uh, drawing with. So we have this, uh, this particular drawing uh, uh, colored in pretty well. And what I'm going to do here in a second, and you can see how we can um, see the light source coming in. We have our, our, our um, different features that are actually highlighted. And you can actually go in and actually add more uh, highlights if you wanted and uh, bring out that light source again that we first started out with um, on top of the um, drawing we have already, okay? So that's just one way to approach it here. So we're going to go ahead now and, and start over. And with this particular one, uh, we're going to first lay down a foundation that's going to be just a little bit darker of a hue, not too much. You remember last time we started out with a lighter source, but this time for our light source, we're going to be using this color. Now, just like we did before, the same light source areas underneath the eyes, a little bit, okay, I'm um, going down the nose, that's the shadow area. Um, we can actually use this over top of most of the drawing because the light source is going to remain the same uh, for this particular piece. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to go back over in a minute with a little bit darker hue and we're going to color the rest of the uh, drawing in. Now remember, this is our light source, so we get confused like I did a little bit there. But that's okay, it's not um, it can be uh, fixed that uh, this, this source here um, is going to be a little bit darker hue. Um, we're dealing with skin tones, so there's um, a lot of variations in this. So with this, though, we're going to go over top of the areas that, that would be lightened um, by the light source. Um, of course, down on the uh, area of the, of the uh, shoulders and the neck here. And you may say, well, this looks like too dark of a hue right now, but what's going to happen is in a second, what I'm going to do I'm going to go back over this and I'm actually going to color over top of this particular hue with the lighter with the lighter hue source and blend these two together, okay, before we go in with the darker hues. So we're going to continue on here. All right. I'm going to grab the lighter hue color. Uh, this is actually white. And I'm going to actually blend this in now using the white. So you can see it kind of takes the edge off of, of that hue. And it, and it starts to look like a different color altogether for our light source for the uh, skin tone. Um, go ahead and color over top of this and, and make sure you cover all your areas. What you could also do is go ahead now with this one and uh, as you're blending, and you can actually cover a, a little bit broader range of area than you typically would because what we're gonna do in a second, we're actually gonna use this to blend um, the other surface color um, of the for the face. So you can go ahead and actually start doing that if you want. Now, I didn't approach the lips on the last drawing, um, uh, only because we were focusing mostly on the skin for this uh, particular exercise. Now, if you were to use watercolor, that's a, way, it's a lot different, and um, so it's a lot more challenging to do skin tone with, with watercolor, but you could do it. Um, it. But it is more challenging. They actually have watercolor uh, skin tone packs that you can purchase. So you can see now this uh, this skin tone is a, is uh, on is on there, but it's a little bit darker compared to the earlier one. And the reason for that is we're going to go a little bit darker now. But we're blending these colors, so I'll be using a variation of two colors here, actually this and this color. And what we're going to do is we're going to start out first. We're going to come back around and get our shadow in, okay, and make sure that our shadow is is nice and and uh, appropriately placed on the drawing on the side of the head here coming down okay we'll go ahead and get up in the ear here we'll add some highlights there in a second just like we did before down the chin down the cheek we'll get this area here okay 
Um, basically, if you think about it, what we're doing is just shifting the hue of the color alone. The light source remains the same, so therefore, while we're creating this, we're not really doing anything different with our light source. Our light source is going to remain the same, uh, so therefore, it's the hue that's changing. So, you have to remember that, that, that when you change hues and colors, you're just going down the spectrum of color, or up the spectrum of, spectrum of color, depending on where you start from, okay? And um, you're just trying to grab out that, that tone, all right? Um, underneath the chin, I mean, the, the lips here will be a little bit of shadow. The shadow will go down the neck here, of course, just like the original one that we did, the first one that we did, um, we're doing the same thing, okay? Um, we're just, what we've done is we've just, we've just uh, in, decreased, increased or it went, went with the hue, changed the hue a little bit uh, to give us this effect, okay? So you can see how this starts to come together more now with the skin tone. <laughs> now the last skin tone I'm going to be using before I actually blend in this area is going to be this one. And what we'll do here now, we'll start to put this in. Now this will actually be blended in um, in a second. You'll see how this all will come together. Um, but we want to try to grab um, the shadow and make sure that we have the shadow um, appropriately placed, like I said earlier. Um, this is a very great exercise, if you've never done it before, um, to, to get involved with trying to create appropriate skin tones. It's not easy to do, and no matter what medium you choose, it's not the easiest of things to do. Um, this is going to look a little off for a second here as I'm, as I'm creating this because the, the, the more um, uh, you change the hue um, of, of a particular skin tone, the more you're going to have to blend, okay, to get the appropriate effect. Um, that's just how it is. Um, um, but we can pull it off, though, here in a second. It all comes together as we move forward, okay? So we're going to continue down with the shadow here. Um, and we can go ahead now and add a little bit more of this across the board, okay? Just a little bit down here. We're going to add some over here on this side, all right, up the side here, connecting in um, for where the shadow will actually be picked up a little bit more, okay, and this will be blended in, and hopefully the effect that we want to get, it will come out here in a second. Now you notice this looks like, a, hey, wait a second, this is a, uh, needs blending. Well, we're going to blend it. We're going to blend it in a second, and it will all come together. So. This is just part of the process. So now, after we have everything together, we're going to actually go back, we're going to grab our other color, and we're going to start the blending process a little bit more using this one. Okay. It's all about pulling that shadow out. If you can pull the shadow out of the skin tone, then you're going to be in good shape. Smudging is another thing you can do with this technique. And what this does is it actually starts to blend the colors in even more for you. I like, I like smudging. I've used it a lot with the art workshop. It's something that I, I think is um, something that you should use. If you never smudged before, then jump in head first, grab your, you know, get your finger ready and just go to town with it and see what happens. It's, uh, it's really cool to uh, see something come together um, whenever you start out like this because in the end what you'll have hopefully is something, um, something pretty cool. So. What we want to do is just cover all the area with their finger, keep smudging like this to pull out that effect. Uh, and as you can see, it's starting to come together a little bit more now. Um, I kind of went outside the line there. I'm looking up too much, <laughs> but that's okay. And you can see then where you need to come back and add a little bit more, take a little bit away, that sort of thing. And the process, you continue on and on and on. You could, you could go forever with this blending and perfecting, um, trying to get the right hue and the right um, uh, balance of which, with the light coming in. Um, so it really, it really um, is a process that you'll have to try to keep perfecting as you, as you continue with your drawing. It's not easy, like I said. It's something that I, I practice with, I try to get better at. Um, it's something that I could use a little um, more practice with, but I have to do this a lot with my profession. I, I don't use chalk a whole lot with what I do, um, just because it's um, uh, the, the medium. I like to have more con more control 
of where where things go on the uh, page and as you can see you don't have a whole lot of control with this I'm more or less going around and when you start to smudge you know um, you can things get the get, can get out of uh, the area you want it in in terms of the color okay so the color will actually go um, out, out of the uh, area that you're working in okay all right so we can add a little bit it's just a little bit darker shadow down here get that get that area in there a little bit um, like I said though you, you have to really work with this over and over and over getting the right balance in and it could take time here's a great example of not having control of the medium you can see that I just wanted this inside the ear right there I didn't want it um, on, on the ear lobe or up here but when you apply this and start to smudge you know you, you really are at the mercy of wherever this chalk wants to land um, now if I had a whole lot more time for the show here um, you know I could I could be more precise but my main goal though is to get you on the right track of where you need to be to pull off uh, 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 putting these shadows together okay and um, you got to keep working with it the more you work with it the better you'll get at it um, me as an artist I, I constantly practice I try to get better with things as I go um, I'm not always uh, when I create something I'm not always really happy with it like for instance I, I, you know I, I feel maybe I feel like I didn't do the best job with something that I could but the whole idea is to keep is to keep going and keep practicing okay so that's the that's the whole point of art okay so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this one up here I think this is probably the last one that we'll have time for today but at least you get an idea of the differences of these two and you can start to work to uh, create your own from home um, I wish I had time to go ahead and finish the hair up on these and the skin and the lips and the eyes because then things would really come together more but we don't um, so that's just how it is but you can see the difference now between these two when I pull them out together you've got the two different skin tones so I hope that has helped some I hope that you've uh, enjoyed this workshop uh, I'd like to thank Pac TV uh, for producing it also like to thank the holler.org for producing it uh, be sure to log into the holler.org send us your artwork we'd like to share it here on the channel um, and until the ne next time uh, keep drawing <laughs>